coffee? What are you doing up so early? After spending all day yesterday building the recovery center of grapefruit, I thought you would be out. Hey, is everything okay? Come on, talk to me. How can I let this happen? What? I thought this show would keep you safe. I thought competing on the show would be a good idea for you to learn new things and become a person like everyone else. But all it's done is put us in danger. I'm your creator. It's my job to make sure nothing happens to you. And now that some maniac almost killed you for good, I can't even keep you safe from harm. Then what good am I doing in this world? Well, I'm here now, am I? Wh what Over the past few episodes we've been on the show, I've learned so much about how objects interact with each other. I've learned how some emotions can take over their entire bodies and make them act irrationally. I've learned what others will do so they can get what they want. I've learned what it's truly like to be in a competition where everyone around you is after the same goal as you. But most important, I've learned about the true meaning of friendship. Coffee. The world is a scary place. At the same time, it's also a very exciting adventure with tons of twists and turns along the way. It's not your fault one of your adventures fails. It's your fault when they succeed. So don't let one malfunction bring you down, Coffee. Like they say, in order to reach your goal, you gotta move some rocks out of the way first. Our hearts are still beating, aren't they? Yes. Alright, let's get back to the set. There's no time to waste. We got a show to win. Let's go. Wow, that sounds crazy. Too bad I wasn't there to see it happen. Yeah, but it did cost our team the immunity. What about Lamp? Did he mess everything up? Well, let's just say he didn't do so well for our team. That's no surprise. He really isn't the sharpest on the team. What did you say about me? Ah, Lamp, uh, we were just talking about- We were saying how poor of a job you did in the last episode. Dude, don't tell him! Hey, someone's gotta be honest with him. At least I actually CARED about our team winning! If I hadn't given out any orders, our team would just be sitting around the whole time. Besides, everything would've turned out fine if Kiki hadn't thrown Lego at our fort. It was their side of the battle. We just happened to lose. Yeah, but if he hadn't thrown bread at their fort first, Kiki would've not gotten so mad. It was your hatred towards bread that caused it. Destroying the other teams' fort was the whole point of the challenge! All Kiki did was have a mental breakdown because her phone fell to the ground and cracked! Which was because of you. Well, did you do anything to prevent it? How, how could I have stopped that? I was dead! Hello, contestants. How's everyone doing? Ah, uh, what do you want? Jeez, Lamp, where did that attitude come from? Anyways, I came to get you guys because it's time for the elimination. If everyone would follow me to the elimination area, please. Fine. Let's go to the elimination. Then we'll see who'll be out next. Hmm. <laughs> Fine. Let's go. All 
All right, seeming sandstorms of rage, welcome to the elimination. We got a total of 1,506 votes, a new record. Thanks so much, viewers. We got 403 likes and 1,103 dislikes. So without further ado, here are the likes. Windows 7, with exactly 100 likes, you win the prize. Sweet! My work actually paid off this time! The prize is this hoverboard. It can help you in the challenge if you know when to use it. Now let's see the dislikes. The first safe are Wow, Skittle, Jellybean, and Elastic Band, with 18, 19, 33, and 43 votes. Now we're on the bottom four. As you know, this is a double elimination, so only two of you are safe. The next contestant safe is Bread with 77 votes. Now it's down to Lamp, Window, and Windows 7. The fourth contestant eliminated from Object Invasion is... Lamp, with a whopping... You can stop now. With a whopping 337 votes. Is eliminated. What? Ha! <laughs> Looks like I was right after all. You shut your face, wow. And you! The next time I see you, mark my words, you'll pay for this! <laughs> okay, so now it's down to Window and Window 7. Let's see which one will be heading to Limbo Island with Lamp. And OJ. And Breathman. That's pretty awful to be honest, I deeply apologize. Wow. This is the closest voting ever. What the? How did I win the prize and get eliminated? Don't know, don't care. No, you can't eliminate me. Please, I still have so much to- And with only one vote to spare, Window, you are safe. Phew! So glad Nap is gone. I'm finally free of his idiocy. Alright, so what are you going to do now? Huh? I mean, all you did was be mean to Lamp. What are you going to do now? Well, obviously with Lamp gone now, we'll only get better and better. He was a huge liability and it's great to finally be rid of him. Hmm, well, if you say so. Okay everyone, today's challenge will require physical and mental strength, as the challenge is split into three different sections. In the first section, each team will push five heavy crates next to a balance beam. When each team has all the crates there, they will build a staircase up to some ropes tied above some water. For the second section, you guys will swing across until they get to the other side. At the end is a table with a puzzle where the third section is. Whichever team solves the puzzle first and presses the button on the table will win immunity. Seems a little complex, but I think I can. No, you won't. You're just gonna sit around and do nothing again. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. Anyways, I'll give you guys eight minutes to strategize. When time's up, we'll begin. Okay, team. Since there are 12 of us, two people will push each crate, but there will have to be two teams of three. I think one of the teams of three should be me, Cup, and Button, since we're all armless and we are a bit weaker than the people with arms. So that way it evens out. Why would it matter if we evened out? Wouldn't it make more sense if we put both people with and without arms together? No, we're doing this my way. I'm the leader, so what I say happens. Anyways, the groups we're pushing the crates will be me, Button and Cup, Slingshot and Coffee, Water, Popsicle and Notebook Paper, Cakey and Phone, and Glasses and Pool. Sounds good, I guess. When we get all the crates stood up, we'll start swinging one at a time. Let's try and keep a steady pace so we can move with less mistakes. But how can us armless people get across the water? I have an idea, but it's pretty risky. What is it? We could have Slingshot launch us across, like how we did with coffee a few weeks ago. Slingshot, are you able to do this for us? Sure, it's worth the shot. <laughs> no. Okay, so for the last part, we need someone who's good at puzzles. Well, lucky for you, you're looking at him. All right, I'm counting on you, coffee. Good luck. All right, guys, your team leader is back and ready to lead this team once more. Now, since there are unfortunately only eight people on our team, we'll have to have two strong people pushing two solo crates, and two people will push the other three crates. Sound good? Yeah, sure, but who will be pushing the crates? Well, we can have Window push one of the crates, since WAW was telling me you lifted an entire traffic light all on your own in last week's challenge. Okay. Now for the other solo crate, we can have Elastic Band push it. 
I mean, I'm sure you can use your stretchy arms to push it, right? That's not how it works, but whatever. I'll push it. Okay, so for the last three blocks, we can have WAW and Bread, Skittle and Jelly Bean, and lastly, Grapefruit and I. Yes! Anyways, now for the balance beam of roads. It's actually dawned upon me that armless people can't hold on to ropes, so I guess Grapefruit and Bread, you guys can hang on onto my legs with your mouths while I swing across. The thought is just really disgusting. Do you have anything else in mind? We can wrap ourselves around people with arms, kind of like a pretzel. You see, Dollar, that's a better idea. Whatever, time's almost up. Skittle and Jelly Bean, we're gonna have you two do the puzzle at the end. Okay, so the eight minutes is up. Let's start in three, two, one, go! Everyone, let's start pushing these crates, quickly! Wow, look at how great we are. Wow, window is pretty strong. Push harder, come on! Hurry, Skittle! Push faster! Let's catch up to them! Oh yeah, that's just fantastic. Keep pushing! We can do this! Finally, we got this here. Any further and my frame would have snapped. Okay, we have two crates left. Wow, that was surprisingly easy. Okay, let me see. Two, three, four. Where's the fifth crate? It's Elastic Band. I'll go help her. Okay, now it's all down to popsicle, water, and notebook paper. Let's start stacking them in the meantime. Elastic Band, hop on the box. I'll push you to the end. Sounds like a plan. Onwards of victory! Yes, the last crate. Let's lift it up and move on. Here it is! Perfect. Now let's go, team. Notebook paper. Next time, don't get distracted by a flower. We need to be fast in this competition. <coughs> Ugh. Here we go. It's here. Alright. Window, can you help me lift it into place? Sure. Okay, guys. Let's go. Slingshot, fire! Okay. <laughs> Ugh, my head? What? Oh hey, I made it across! Alright, you did it! Okay, Slingshot, fire me next! Yes! Alright, Slingshot, launch me! What are you, crazy? You're too big for me to launch across! I might snap in half! Come on, Slingshot, you have to try! If you don't do it quickly, we might lose the challenge and you might get eliminated! Okay, you got me there. I'll try, but I'll need some support. Coffee, cakey. Hold on to me while I launch this tubby wubby fatty over here. Hey. Got it. Ugh. Okay. Ready? Hey. Fire! Ugh. <laughs> there. Finally. Now come on guys, let's swing across! Got it! Oh my god, this is tougher than I thought it would be! Just keep going, Dolly, you're about two-thirds of the way there! Ugh! Yes, now we only have one more thing left to do! Leave it to the master! Alright, Coffee, let's do this. Alright, we made it. The final part of the challenge. Skittle, Jelly Bean, it's time. Let's do this!
this? Wow. I was not expecting that. Yeah, neither was I. Come on, almost there. Just four more pieces left. Where's the last piece? It must have fell. Look, it's over there. Hurry up and get it. And with just a fraction of a second to spare, the steaming sandstorms of rage win this challenge. Now that is leadership. Take that, Lamp. Why do I feel as if I'm being proven wrong? Well, this sucks. Now we have to lose another member. Also, this show will now be a contestant's vote. So tonight, the fate of who gets to leave is dependent upon you guys. See you tonight. Hey, you did good out there. Yeah, thanks. I can't believe we lost. Well, it was just mainly Skittle and Jellybean finishing the puzzle faster. No, it was everyone else's ideas that made us lose. Our ideas? All you wanted to do was your own ideas. You discarded everyone else's thoughts. Well, I'm the team leader. I have the final say. <sighs> Lego. Being a team leader doesn't mean you get to control everything that we do. You still have to let us give our thoughts and opinions on stuff, you know? Why? You act like your guys' suggestions would have actually made a difference. You need to be able to trust us enough to go through with our ideas. And don't even act like your ideas actually work 100% of the time. We have good ideas too. Well, they aren't good enough, plus they would have made us lose. Unbelievable. God, Lego, you were a pretty good person a few weeks ago with Pool being dead and all. But ever since Cup went missing, you changed. Come on, Popsicle. We're not listening to this crap. Okay. Meanie! Okay, you just shut up. God, you're useless. Dead weight, you don't do anything but make us lose. Lego, follow me. Lego, the others are right. You didn't even care about our ideas. Just yours. So? Well, according to common knowledge, a team is a group of players that come together as a team to achieve a common goal. We weren't acting like that in this challenge. We need to do whatever we can to win, no matter the cost. My job is to make sure that everyone crosses the finish line so we can keep going. I'm just doing what's best for the team. But that may not be what's best for you. Alright guys, it's time for the first contestant's vote elimination. So what you guys will do is type the name of the person you would like to be eliminated into the tablets in front of you. Then I'll be able to show the votes. You guys ready? Barry! Okay then, everyone start voting. Okay, I have the votes ready to be shown on the TV. Whoever has the most votes will be eliminated from the show and fling to Limbo Island, never to return. EVER! If you have any questions, now would be the time to ask. Alrighty then, if I call your name, you are safe. Slingshot, glasses, pool, coffee, phone, notebook paper, button, popsicle, and cup. Yay! I'm safe! Now give me a prize! Okay, can you just stop already? Cakey and Lego, you two are the only contestants who received votes. What? But I did nothing! That's kind of the point! So the last person safe is... Cakey. What? What? Is this a joke? This has to be a joke! Sorry, Lego, but with 10 votes, you are officially eliminated. What? What? 
No, you guys need me as a leader. I can lead you guys further than we've ever gone before. Please! Wow, I was not expecting that. Do you think we made the right choice? Yeah. <gasps> well, well, well. Look who we have here. Looks like you failed at leading your team, Lego. Shut up, OJ. Not now. Whatever. What's up, OJ? I can't laugh, man. I'll, I'll try. <laughs>